you guys, it's Megan and it's Saturday and I'm gonna vlog this weekend a little bit, but I wanted to switch into my new purse. And so I just got this in the mail from Poshmark and Chloe had this purse in a different color when I visited her last weekend and I was like, I'm gonna steal that purse. Like I love it so much. And obviously I would never steal her purse, but I immediately like scoured the internet for it. It was a like discontinued style. So Michael Kors isn't making it anymore, but it's the Daniela large crossbody. It's his Saffiano leather, which is my favorite. It's like a, they called it like a gusseted purse. So it has like two sections. It has a back pocket that has a magnetic closure, which is really nice. And then a flap, which I've never had a purse with a flap, but I, my sister yells at me all the time because I'll leave my purse unzippered like this and I'll set it in like my back seat if I have a passenger in my front seat and it always dumps and everything falls out and my sister's like just zipper your purse like seriously so now I have no excuse this will close on its own and it has like a magnetic closure which is so cool and then it has like different slots and a zipper pouch even so it was just like the perfect purse I feel like and I got a great deal on it it was only $90 normally this is like over a $200 purse because it is leather and it has the nice crossbody strap and it's adjustable and with the gold accents so it was just everything I wanted and this is such a beautiful shade it's called um dark dune or like something with dune and I just love it so I'm gonna switch into this because I have so much crap in my um full-size purse which is the michael kors selma so you guys know i love michael kors i have this candy bar that i won yesterday <laughs> at our um one of our meetings there was like prizes and i i tell people like i'm not like the only person that said the answer i'm just the loudest so i won the prize which is Hershey's chocolate which is amazing so i got this purse that i wanted to show you guys before i switch into it then I also picked up this book on Amazon from a like a like a reseller so it was a lot cheaper than the normal um if I got it at like Barnes and Noble or something so it's the a book Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng and I have heard so much about this book it's being turned into a series on Hulu with Reese Witherspoon and I just have been really intrigued by it so I picked it up I want to read this when I go on vacation so I'm not going to crack into this yet but I bought it specifically for my trips coming up and uh hopefully I'll fly through that book I I don't read as much as I wish that I would and I used to fly through books like all the time like in high school I'd read like a book every few days and now it's just not something that I take the time to do. I really used to like to read John Green's books. His books I would just fly through really quickly um, but any book recommendations that you have are much appreciated and so I'm just gonna switch into my new purse and oh I have to take this ring back to um, Nordstrom Rack oh mom this is why i thought it was a size seven because there's a huge number seven in the like barcode so it just looks like it's size seven but it's a size eight so i love this ring so much um so i just need to get a smaller size just exchange it and then i got these sunglasses oh my god i love these ted bakers and i want to take care of them so i can have them for the rest of my life i just adore them so can't wait to wear those and it's is it nice outside oh it's beautiful outside i'm so excited so i have like a little bit of a springy type of outfit on and um, we're gonna go out to lunch and just enjoy the day Recording. okay so mom's <laughs> mom's so nice she's filming me she just took selfies of me again i did them of her hair so we like didn't even exchange but so i have my new purse i have my new nikes on that go with the shirt and the sunglasses so just all very coordinated and of course the great like weed whacker guy so <laughs> happy spring <laughs> we came to bj's for lunch and i got the mahi mahi tacos with chips and salsa and i guess that's like an avocado ranch or something we got a angry orchard and mom got the uh, turkey club that looks amazeballs happy birthday mom free pazooki <laughs> <Yay! laughs> 
triple chocolate Ghirardelli. That looks delicious. Yeah, that looks so good. Oh, can't wait to dig in. So we destroyed the triple chocolate pizuki <laughs> and we're dead and in heaven now. It's so, so, so good. It's been good to know you. <laughs> yeah, it's been good to know you. Yes, that's what mom said. <laughs> we're at Pier 1 and we just found my dad. <laughs> Plant coming out of it. <laughs> I got the resize or not resize. I got I exchanged my ring for the smaller size. Thank God. So I love 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 it. It's the covet ring. Then we want to show you mom's wedding or engagement ring. JK. It was twenty dollars, but it looks real AF. And we said that when I'm in a place that I might get engaged, I'm gonna tell my boyfriend. Just let me get this cheap, like, cubic zirconia ring, put all that money towards, like, a nice vacation or, like, something way more worth it because, I don't know, I just don't see the value in the diamond as much as maybe other people do. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. But for now, we think that it's a smart idea and it just, they look so real. So you're not missing out on like the looks of it, but I would get like a gold like wedding band or something. So I'm planning my entire engagement and <laughs> wedding already without even a boyfriend in sight. So yeah, that's not the kind of person I am. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was like, you have it all figured out except for the guy. And I was like, yes, that's the only piece missing. Like, that's small detail. Just like need a person to actually marry. That's all. <laughs> I've decided it's time, you guys. I am going to start re-watching some, some of Game of Thrones leading up to the new season starting next Sunday. So today is the Saturday. So we're like eight days away. Um, I'm nervous because I want to try to rewatch the 20 most recent episodes starting with um, Hard Home in season five. So I want to start there and watch all of season six and seven in time for next Sunday. So who knows but i will make it happen i don't think this week is going to be very like crazy after work so i feel like i will actually have time to make this happen so <laughs> i haven't watched any game of thrones since season seven ended and i really need to just refresh my memory get excited about season eight i'm so 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 excited and also sad because it's been something i wasn't like always watching live but I watched it in like a huge binge like two years ago and it was incredible and then to keep up with season seven as it was live was just so much fun and I feel like it's one of the only shows or the only show that people watch week to week and talk about it the next day and like unpack it and just like talk about your theories and like your emotions about it it's just a really different experience than a lot of shows are these days with like binge watching. I feel like every time I watch something it's like I have no one to talk about it with because people don't want to hear spoilers and they might be on a different episode than me and it's like I don't know it's just not as collaborative and like there's not a big sense of community unless you go online and talk to people that have also watched it so um it seems like game of thrones is the last of its kind in terms of that with being able to talk to people in real time about it and get excited from week to week about what's going to come next so yeah i'm going to start watching that now and i'm excited but also nervous that i will run out of time but I'm just gonna give it my best shot and try to watch at least all of season seven. Like, that's the most important thing to me. 
Um, so if I have to skip a few in season six, I won't be like devastated. But if any of you guys have been rewatching, let me know. A few people at work have been rewatching since the beginning of se like of Game of Thrones. So they watched all seven seasons and they started like months ago. So obviously with one week to go, I don't have time to do that. So I'm gonna try to do my best and just refresh my memory and get caught up as much as possible. Hey you guys, it's Sunday and last night I was able to watch up to season 6 episode 2 of Game of Thrones. So I made a pretty good start and I feel like starting with Hard Home was perfect. It it really like recapped a lot of stuff and set the stage for major events to come that still are applicable going into season 8. So if you want to start rewatching, I think Hard Home is a good place to start if you don't want to rewatch the whole series. Um, yeah, this show is just so. It's like so epic and so massive, and I'm always amazed when they have shots of like the different like armies like meeting, and there's just so many people, and it's just such huge production. It's it's really an incredible work of art in this time like usually it's only movies that get that much production value and I feel like this show is just in a league of its own for tv so it's getting me really really excited for season eight and whew, I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen I I really don't know so I'm very very stoked but I decided to cut some bangs into my hair because my hair was just seeming like a little bit drab. So I just cut some like like angled side bangs, which is very, very easy to do yourself. And I feel like it just revived my whole haircut. So um, that feels good. I like piled on the rings. I have so many rings because I was inspired by my new one from Nordstrom Rack and then all of the other ones were just ones that I had previously from like Gorgiana and I think I don't know where I got this X one but um somewhere along the way and I'm just wearing like a springy top and little like kimono thing and yeah so we're going to Philly just for the afternoon um to see Rach and go to lunch and do a little Trader Joe's shopping we're whatever we go we're like do you need to go to Trader Joe's to get groceries Rachel and she's always like I guess and we're like okay let's go because we mostly want to go um so we're gonna do that and just have a nice like family day. My dad's away, so that's why you haven't seen him. It's just been me and my mom, and um, he's coming back today, so um, we'll see him tonight. They have a long drive from where they're coming from, so him and my uncle went on vacation to Myrtle Beach to golf, which is, like, so adorable, and so they're coming home, and so mom, Rach, and I are just gonna have a girls' day in Philly, which is much, much needed. I feel like we always just have the best time. Another month, another Ulta deal. So they have like different weekly deals every month of April. So it's like there's certain things on sale this week. Then next week, I think next week seems a little more my speed. Like they have Physicians Formula stuff on sale, Maybelline, Real Techniques. So definitely check this out, you guys, because... Ooh, ooh, the BH Cosmetics palettes will be 40% off. So definitely get the Love in London and um, Hanging in Hawaii. And they have Juvia's Place. Oh my gosh, yeah. That week is going to be my week to shine. But, oh my gosh, they just can't stop with these sales. Hi! <laughs> ooh, and you have your Uber for Rachel! <laughs> I, saw, Uber for Rachel. I saw you had the... Ooh. Oh, yes, on, and then the pretty nice. necklace. We're like, there she is! <laughs> <laughs> We're such <laughs> dorks. I was gonna say helicopter parents, but like, not really. <laughs> Just like proud parents. <laughs> yeah, do that again. <laughs> All right, Love time you. for Korean fried chicken. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, the bonchon. Soy garlic scent. I wish it was a perfume. <laughs>
<laughs> not really. But we're at Bonchon. We got the um, soy garlic strips and the um, fried rice. And they have K-pop on and they have like the window open. And it's just awesome. I'm so excited for mom to try it for the first time. <laughs> Yay! We're at the Flying Monkey in Reading Terminal Market because Beeler's Donuts is closed on Sundays apparently. Mini flourless chocolate cake. Mmm. Iovine's Market at the Reading Terminal Market is just so pretty to look at. Everything is so fresh and colorful. I love it. All right, here's the dramatic reveal. <laughs> We got the flourless chocolate cake and what was that peanut butter peanut butter butter cake and then we got a chocolate vanilla cupcake and then this like what do they call it funfetti like Philly's marshmallow treat yummy for some reason we always end up at Trader Joe's on Sundays which is like the craziest day to come we're looking at all sorts of different things. We're getting a ton of mushrooms because we have recipes in mind for that. We thought these look good. The golden berry blend of like different dried fruit. Their butternut squash is so, so good. We always stock up on these and mom is obsessed with these. <laughs> but yeah, lots of random stuff today. Oh my God, you guys look at this seasoning powder. It's like pure umami. Oh my God, I can't wait. And then I'm getting this for when I see Alyssa next weekend. It's chocolate salted caramel mug cake, which sounds incredible. And then we think this looks really cool. It's shelf stable whipping cream, which just seems like really nice to have on hand. So this though, I can't wait to try. All right, you guys, we're home now. And it was such a nice day to spend with Rachel in Philly. It was such beautiful weather. The food was delicious. Trader Joe's was amazing. And it's just always nice to spend time with the fam. So we're home now. My dad just got home from his trip as well. So we're all here at home as it should be. And I'm about to sit down for the night and watch a few episodes of Game of Thrones and hopefully keep chipping away to get closer to next Sunday when the new season premieres. I cannot wait. So I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you soon. Bye.